Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy weekend. I hope wherever you are, you are experiencing beautiful weather and that your weekend is off to a wonderful start. So I don't have any candle empties this week. Um, I have several candles that I am currently burning, but I don't do them every day. And when I do, um, light a candle it's for about two and a half to three hours so it, they definitely take me a while to get through so I'm going to start with Scentsy Empties first um Turning Red which is still currently available nope this is not an empty because I already warmed through a whole bar of this at school over the last couple weeks um and a student asked if they could have the empty the empty container so that's what it's that's what it looks like and it is um pomegranate cherry and orange twist you guys this did so well in my classroom i couldn't believe it i could not believe it um so i'm curious to, <clears throat> excuse me i'm curious to try this in my house because i've heard a lot of people saying that it was really light or maybe that it didn't last long I don't know. It did really, really well, and I was very impressed by it, so we shall see. One that I was absolutely terrified of was white teak, white amber and teak. I could not stand how this smelled on cold. Nope. But I warmed it, and I liked it. I don't love these kinds of scents, but I definitely liked this. This was so much better than I thought it was going to be. It's amber, teak, and bergamot. Oh, you guys, I liked this. I had this in my laundry room, both boys' bedrooms and the hallway, and it didn't, it wasn't that um, sickening over cologne type of scent. It actually was really good. This is still currently available, so... Um, I would say if you love, obviously if you love masculine scents, definitely get this. If you're somebody that you're not so sure, like I am, about these heavy, what I thought would be a heavy cologne scent, you guys, I did not mind that one at all. I definitely like it a hundred times better than the, was it Jade and Jasmine? Yes. All right. We have a Ruby Nectarine. I absolutely love this. I've warmed through many bars of this. I've talked about this. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Um, it's Juicy Nectarine, Ruby Apple, and Pear Blossom. It is such a bright, fruity, like mouth-watering scent to me. This is, did I say this already? This is still currently available. This was, what are we in, May? March? March or April scent of the month. Really, really good. Um, yeah, I will continue to warm that. Um, that might end up going in my club. I need to think about that because I have no business adding things to my club. I should be taking things out. Um, Oodles of Orange, which is not currently available, which to me, this is just like, eh, I don't understand the hype over this. To me, it is a very basic um, orange scent. Yeah, it doesn't blow my socks off. It doesn't wow me. It is just okay. It's uh, sweet, citrusy. It's pineapple, papaya, mango, tropical berries. You can't get it anyway. Um, you know, I think this is maybe the second or third bar that I've ever warmed in my life. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I did have this once upon a time. Like many years ago, because I'm pretty sure it was in the kids. This was like kids um, collection, I think. But I've had it two or three times since being a Sensi consultant. And uh, yeah, I I don't know. Everybody has their own taste. Um, one I do love, absolutely love, is Rainbow Sherbet. Rainbow Sherbet. This to me is such a vibrant, fruity, strong. Uh, it's such a powerhouse. It's orange zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime. So, I mean, this has many other fruits, fruity scents in it besides just the orange. It's not like a 
true, just straight up orange. Um, and I just feel like rainbow sherbet just, it just has so much more <laughs> to offer. Um, but I had like half a bar of each left. So I mixed these together just to kind of finish them up so I would have enough for the upstairs. Um, and it was nice. Um, but I will always, always, always go back for more of the rainbow sherbet. It's just, I love that one so much. It does great in my house, great at school. Love it. Um, Palo Santo, which is not available, which I know a lot of people didn't like. It was from the Bring Back My Bar. And it's charred cedar bark and teak. I like this. I really do. Again, warmed this in my loft, the laundry room. I've warmed it in the boys' room. Long lasting. Um, probably about like a, I'd say like an eight or nine for uh, strength and throw. I like that. I would get it if it came back. Is that it for Sunsy? It is. So it wasn't a crazy productive uh, week for wax, but I don't know if I should keep doing them weekly. I just feel like I'm not getting through as much. I start a lot of things. I'm just not finishing as much. Or maybe I'll um, do them every two weeks or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Moving on to nonsense -y. Oh, I did um, use a scent circle in Magnolia Linen. I put these at the bottom of my trash can before I put the bag in. So, there's that. Okay. I'm just sharing two... Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, guys. Found another sunset. This is in Paradise Petals. This is currently available. And I really do like this. Um, I much prefer it on warm than I do on cold. On cold, it kind of smells like cheap flowers to my nose. Um, it's Neroli Orange Sass and Tropical White Blooms. This is such a lovely spring scent to my nose. This would be perfect to warm like after a rainy day. Oh, it's good. It's not crazy. This is not going to blow you out of your house strong for me. Um, I really enjoyed this um, upstairs, also in the front room as well as uh, my master bathroom. Putting this in my master bathroom, it lasted like three days. Um, really, really good. If you are somebody that likes floral, but also with that fruit, that citrus note to it, this is for you. Really, really liked this. Um, okay, now that's it for Sensi. Okay, so just a couple things that I wanted to talk about that I warmed but haven't finished. I only brought up two. Um, the first one is from Rose Girls, and this is Pink Fairy. It's lavender, laundry, strawberry pound cake, pink sugar, and vanilla ice cream. Love the idea of this. However, I did not like this warming. Um, something about the laundry and the lavender mixed with the strawberry pound cake. It reminded me of Old Lady... Um, perfume or something. I don't know. I'm glad I only picked up one bag of it. Um, I don't know what I was expecting it to smell like. I bought it because of the name. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'll finish this up throughout the house. Um, but this would not be, it would not be a repurchase for me. Just not... Not what I was expecting. From the pharmacist's daughter, this is a loaf in Giggle Juice. And it's Prosecco Blush, Pink Lemonade, Lemon Sugar, and Fresh Strawberries. So, I am definitely um, team Pink Lemonade with Strawberries versus Pink Lemonade with Watermelon. I used to really love Watermelon. With lemonade, mm -mm. I like the strawberry so much better. So, with this, this is from, I'm trying to remember when I got this. Not my most recent pharmacist daughter's haul, but one prior to. So, I'm going to say I probably had this for like four or five months, I'm guessing. 
maybe not that long. Um, this is light, but it's nice. I'm going to put it away and save it. So I've, I have it going all throughout the downstairs. Um, I'm going to put it away. And I think on those blazing hot, hot summer days, this will be um, a good one to have. But I can definitely, I definitely got the, the strawberries and the lemonade right now. It's just on the lighter side. So I'll put it away for a while. I have plenty of it and I will revisit it, you know, in like June, June or July. Okay. Warmed through this from um, Super Tarts. This is fizzy lifting drinks. Um, this was in the round robin. I believe that Lori put it in. And I had to try this. This is, um, you know, fizzy soda and lemon curd. And I warmed this in uh, the warmers in my bedroom. And holy Toledo. This, excuse me, I'm going to cough <coughs> and sneeze. This was so unbelievably strong and delicious. Oh, so, so, so good. Um... And I want to say like two full days when I warmed this. And I don't shut those warmers off. Um, really, really good. If you love um, fizzy drinks, that fizzy effervescent note, uh, so strong. And just that lemon curd was really, really, really enjoyable. Um, another one from Rose Girls is Basil and Salty Sea Air and Thyme. This I took from the Round Robin. And I liked this a lot. Um, I don't know if her salty sea air has lime, a little bit of lime in here. But like I said, it's basil, salty sea air, and thyme. This was a really, really um, nice, refreshing um, scent. Loved warming this in my kitchen. Um, and also in the bathrooms. Um, I think I also had it in the upstairs hallway. Really, really liked this. I have never had this before from Rose Girls. And um, I would get that. Okay. This is from Sassy Girl Aroma. And this is in her, like, her squeezable, her squeeze me wax melts. And this is in Audrey May, which I know is a fan favorite. It's freshly sliced strawberries warm pound cake and whipped cream. So I, I'm pretty sure I did end up getting this in a brittle, but when I got this, so this is from the beginning of, um, like March, March 12th. I don't know if that's when I got it. I can't remember. Um, so I love the idea of this, but I don't, I don't, I wouldn't get this again. And I know I have a order from Sassy Girl coming today and I did pick up another squeezable because I placed that order before I warmed it, before I warmed this. Um, it's just, it's a, to me, it's a lot of work to get this out. I would rather have a scoop of ball, I think. Just squeezing it, and then I wasn't sure how much of it to use. Um, just not my favorite method for, um, for wax. Um, and so, I mean, I ended up towards the end, I like rolled it to get the rest of it to come out and I still just couldn't get every last bit but I mean Audrey May if you have warmed this you know it is a delicious delicious um strawberry pound cake so, so I'm glad that I have it coming in a brittle um and I will have one I think I only have one more um that I ordered in her squeezable that like I said will be here today um, another one from Sassy Girl Aroma is Out to Sea, and this was in her brittle, and it's Blackberry Butter Jam Cookies, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Beach Night. I mean, come on, anything with Beach Night, amazing. Oh, so good, so, so good. Um, and with that Blackberry Butter Jam Cookies, sweetness and delicious. This was really good. I had never had Out to Sea before. Really, really enjoyed this. Um, I'm a sucker for anything with her beach nights. So, um, I would get that again. 
did really well. From the pharmacist's daughter, this is Clothesline in Florida. Clotheslines in Florida. And it's her clean, it's clean laundry and citrus, citrus and it's their house blend. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, am I... Because oh, I'm looking at this one, and this one has a pour date on it. But when I'm looking at this one, I thought maybe the Giggle Juice had it. So maybe at one, I guess at one point she did pour dates, and now she doesn't. Um, so that's Clotheslines in Florida, and this was poured in um, April of 21. This was nice. This I had going all throughout the downstairs, living room, dining room, and it's good. I love... Um, citrus with laundry so this was a good one again <clears throat> I'm sorry such a tickle in my throat I got this from the round robin okay from Goose Creek I went through two of the peanut butter and jelly um, wax melts I know that this is like all the craze everybody loves um, all the peanut butter and jelly it's just not doing it for me I don't know what I'm missing <laughs> um I don't get peanut butter and I get kind of a like on cold I can smell peanut butter I can smell like a strawberry and grape but when I warm this it just smells like generic berries to me um so I have this everywhere and I don't know maybe peanut butter and jelly just isn't my thing. Um, but I was glad to have tried it because it's so super popular. Um, but yeah, it didn't really, didn't really do anything for me. Um, one that was really, really good from Goose Creek and it has a little wax schmutz on it because I must have put it on here is Angel Food Cake. You guys, this was really good. Like, really good. <laughs> um, and it was strong. Probably like a 7 or an 8 in my bedroom. Um, in multiple warmers. So, Canada Kim was talking about this in her recent... Was it her empties? Yes. Was it her empties? Or what she was picking for the next month? I think it was her empties. And she was talking about how good it was. And I was like, ooh, I have that. I need to pull that and warm it. And I did. And really, really surprised me. It was delicious. Um, and then I almost took it out yesterday morning before I went to work. But when I left my bedroom and came back in, I was like, nope, that thing is still kicking strong. So I really like this. This would definitely be a repurchase. If you are a bakery fan, definitely try that. Okay, this one I could not do, and I'm so disappointed. This is from Ella After Wax. This is Angel Food Cake. White Cake, Madagascar, White Cake, Madagascar Vanilla, and Cherry Whipped Cream. Oh, no. Nope. This smelled like cat urine. So bad. So bad. Um, I don't know. I've never had, like, cherry do that to me. So this is almost, well, this was poured in July of 21. I don't know, you guys. I just, I couldn't do it. If anybody tried this, has tried this, please let me know. Um, I had it in my warmer for 30 minutes because I'm like, okay, maybe it's going to change now. Maybe it's going to change now. No, I had to pull it from all the warmers. I just, I could not do that at all. This is another one that I don't like and I've had for so long. It's the Fresh Linen Odor Eliminator. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I don't like this. Um, I've had it for a really long time. I would say that this would be good if your animal had an accident in the house and you've scrubbed and cleaned and you still, there's still like a lingering scent. Maybe this. But I, I just, I can't do it. Um, yeah. Britta's Creepy Treasures. This is grass plus strawberry plus cotton candy frosting. This was a ginormous winner, winner. 
Oh my gosh, I loved this so much. Oh, her strawberry. I really, really loved this. The strawberry and the grass, it almost smells like banana. Does anybody else get that when you have a strawberry and a grass together? I get like almost a banana note. I loved this so much. I've never personally ordered from Britta's. I really need to. Um, I'm thinking for the fall to place an order with her. This was so amazing, so strong. Loved it, loved it, loved it. It was a skull. I got, um, I put it in four, four warmers. And it was an all day enjoyable scent. Okay. This, which I know I have it in a full size from the pharmacist order. This came in my mo most recent order. Um, this as a sample. And then I ordered it also. So it's juicy fruit and it's grapefruit and some other things. Um, oh my God. Bitters. I can't remember. Maybe orange. When I tell you that this was delicious. Oh my goodness. Um, this was delicious. So I warmed this because it was a small sample in my bathroom. My master bathroom. Oh my gosh, boy, do I love my bathroom smelling like citrus. This, so, so good. So good. Two full days. I have a Scentsy Element warmer um, in my bathroom. I loved this. I cannot wait to warm um, what I have I think it's in a bar. Um, oh my gosh, so good. So good. And then lastly, um, I have Coco Vanilla Bean Noel from Swanky. And this was sent to me from my really kind, sweet friend, Jason. He sent me several things from Swanky. Um, and I'm slowly warming them because... Does anybody remember Once Upon a Time when it, you could get Swanky pretty easily? I do. And I would order quite often. I had tons of her wax. I haven't had wax from her in so long. And that she's hard to get from now. Like, everybody loves her. And rightfully so. She Her wax is amazing. Um, so he so kindly sent me several pieces. And I warmed this all throughout the downstairs. And it is whipped coconut cream pie, her cream cake, and vanilla bean noel. And this was a creamy, delicious, decadent ugh, coconut cream pie. This was scrumptious. Really, really enjoyed this. Um, so kind of Jason to share. Um, swanky. Really, really appreciate it. So... That's everything, you guys. Um, so, like I said, I don't know going forward if I will continue to do these every week. We'll see. I guess maybe I'll just play it by ear, and depending on how much stuff I have, um, I'll do it like that. But anyway, that's everything. I'm patiently waiting for my Sassy Girl Aroma haul to show up. Um, and then I will definitely film that. So I hope that you are all having an amazing weekend, having warm weather, doing fun things. And um, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Take care.